Hey guys, Nas here, and today's video is a tutorial on correct pull-up form. So I'm gonna give you a bunch of tools today uh, to improve your pull-ups and a couple to help you build up to pull-ups if you haven't uh, been able to build the strength yet to complete a pull-up. And also if pull-ups are right for you in your specific programming, depending on your goal, and also a few progressions to continue to challenge yourself once you've built the point where bodyweight pull-ups just aren't doing it anymore. So enjoy the video, hit me in the comments with some feedback, let me know what videos you'd like to see from me in the future, and don't forget to subscribe, give the channel a big thumbs up to show your support. The first step in mastering pull-up form is going to be mastering your scapular retraction, which is basically pulling the shoulders back and together. So we're trying to rotate the scapula fully together. This is super important to keep your shoulders healthy. Uh, when you're doing lat pull-downs or pull-ups, and we're not uh, starting with the scapular retraction, we're actually putting the shoulders in a very compromised position for injury. And the more weight that we use, uh, the greater the risk for injury becomes. So mastering the scapular retraction is your first step. Whether, regardless whether you can, you're strong enough to do pull-ups right now or not, work this in. If you can't do it with your full body weight at first, that's okay. Uh, you can use partial body weight or even do it on a lat pull-down machine. Just master that movement. Get a get a good feel for it. It's going to help you out big time. Step two is building the strength. So we have to perform negative repetitions. If you can't do a pull-up right now, we're going to start with a flexed arm hang. We can do this with palms facing forward, which would be harder, or palms facing backwards in a chin-up position, which would be easier. But achieving the flexed arm hang is the first step, and then slowly lowering your body weight down, uh, taking between three to five seconds to completely lower your body weight is ideal and then performing three to five repetitions. You, you should do this movement uh, no more than once a week since it is a strength building uh, movement. Uh, it's gonna be a lot more effective than just countless repetitions of assisted pull-ups uh, as far as building strength to actually do a pull-up. All right, step three is going to be an assisted pull-up. I prefer the band assisted pull-up uh, since the super band here is going to work nicely with your natural strength curve. So you're actually going to get more of a boost at the bottom of the movement where you're weakest and less of a boost at the top where you're strongest. So it works nicely with your natural strength curve. Um, you can also use a dip or pull-up machine for assistance if needed if you have access to that. So either way, this is for repetition, not strength. So you get more rep. The next step is mastering the chin up, which is a slightly easier variation of the pull up. On this variation, we are keeping the palms in and facing the body. And we're pulling the elbows back and down, squeezing the lats at the top. Notice we keep a natural arch in the spine and don't allow the body to swing. If you're swinging all over the place, or unable to maintain that arch in your back, then you're most likely going to have some core imbalances you need to address. So you can start a planking regimen and obviously stretching the hip flexors and lower back to help with some of those imbalances before you continue a pull-up regimen. The last progression here is a weighted pull-up, and I'm using a dip belt here. Now, you can use any form of added resistance. You can use a dumbbell, you can use chains. I'm just, I just had the weight belt handy, so I'm showing you with the weight belt, which is pretty much your ideal scenario because it places the weight directly under you. So, once you can complete eight to 12 solid repetitions with good form, then, then you can start adding a little bit of weight uh, to increase resistance and it, as you know progressive resistance is going to be the key to maintaining a successful program so the next question is are pull-ups right for you and how should you put them into your program so pull-ups are really going to be 
a great exercise for anybody that really wants to maximize their upper body strength. Now, where they may be contraindicated is if you have severe shoulder injury and you're not able to, so that may uh, be a contraindication. Uh, anything where the pull-up could potentially cause more damage to a pre-existing injury would be my biggest reason to not suggest a pull-up. Other than that, I really think that pull-ups are a great tool for anybody wanting to maximize your upper body strength. And again, just the fact that you're able to pull your entire body weight up and over an object is going to, uh, to really be a confidence booster as well as vital in uh, even potentially life or death situations. So that's my thought on the pull-ups. I hope this video helped you guys out. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I would love to hear some feedback. And again, if you're new to the channel, uh, please, subscribe to, uh, please subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that. Give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see in the future. I'm gonna uh, commit to doing two videos a week, so Mondays and Fridays. Uh, if you are subscribed, hit that bell notification on the uh, channel right by the subscribe button. And uh, that what that will do is you'll actually get updates whenever I post a new video. My dog is going crazy. Every time I start recording for some reason, he knows and he decides he wants to jump all over me. So <laughs> he's, uh, he's been trying to jump on me. For, so this is like the third take here, uh, just uh, because he's, he continues to jump on me. But uh, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. You guys have a great weekend and um, have a great weekend. Work hard, work smart, and look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.